Good evening. In the northwest corner of a former residential school in Saskatchewan, a very private and sacred ceremony today for the unnamed hundreds who lie in unmarked graves. Late tonight, a vigil at the cemetery for the 751 lost souls buried here. CTV's Creason Ashkute shares some of the personal stories he was told on day three after the distressing discovery. At Cowess's First Nations Cemetery, where 751 unmarked graves were discovered, now sits a lone teepee that protects the sacred fire. That's to bring the spirits here to be with us. Now they have a home now. Owen Delorme calls himself a spiritual man. He helped pray for the people buried here and the First Nations still in mourning. He says the fire will burn for the next four days, serving as a light in the dark for the spirits of the people and children. When they were out there, there was no, no real home for them. They wandered here and there, like in different buildings, like how you say. Different entities would appear in, different, in these buildings here. Delorme attended the Maryvale Residential School when he was only six years old. When he got out at 14, he turned to drugs and alcohol after years of pain he endured. His culture and spirituality that the schools tried to take from him would later help him heal. Love one another, be good to one another. No matter who you are or who you are. Grab a box. That love was evident today as this man, Kevin Friesen, a Cowsis member, helped deliver 800 solar lights for the unmarked graves. It was good to see the group come together. Young, old, the elders, everybody working as a team. Lights were donated by Friesen's employer and is just one of many donations flowing into the community. As soon as we heard they wanted to do the solar light vigil, I went to my owner. He promptly agreed to provide the lights at no cost to me. He phoned the local Canadian Tire. They emptied their shelves within hours. Riley Delorme is part of the Cowessis Community Youth Council, a group that has been lending a hand at the cemetery. I have a lot of family members who went to residential schools, and it's just, it's hard to take in when you have a lot of people and a lot of connections. On the fourth day, the community will have a feast with the spirits before they are finally able to go home to the spirit world. Riley's message to them is from the heart. I'm super glad we found you because, like I said, this is not something to be swept under the carpet. You guys were real people. You, you, all, had, you all had hearts. You all had families. The people here say it's important to remember that the unmarked graves belong to not just residential school students, but also the people that lived and worked here in the community who are from the surrounding area. Sandy. All right, Creason, thank you.